The response to cold is both mental and physical. Uh, first of all, when we go out, we feel cold and there's individual variability. Some of us are tougher than others. Uh, but regardless of how we feel, the more that we are exposed to cold, generally, the more we can put up with it. But having said that, how we feel about cold really does not determine how we respond to it. The physiological response to cooling is a decrease in, in peripheral blood flow or blood flow to the hands and skin and feet, uh, and also shivering. But uh, let's just key on uh, blood flow for now. We, we normally think of blood flow as, as delivery of oxygen and nutrients, but in this case, uh, blood flow also delivers heat. It's very important. So when we go outside, it's cold. We decrease our blood flow and heat delivery to the superficial and distal tissues fingers and hands and they're they're more likely to get cold and they're more susceptible to frostbite. So the more that we are exposed to cold we go through a, a process called accommodation which is a decreased response to a similar stimulus. So if we need to be outside either for recreation or work and we're out there all the time the body figures that out and says well maybe it's best not to be at risk of frostbite so often so it will uh, decrease blood flow less, allow more blood flow out to the fingers and toes, and uh, therefore you can function better because your fingers and toes are warmer and less likely to get frostbitten.